I found the perfect jet settings for the Yamaha PW80, and I'll tell you right now, the main jet I'm running is the 100 main jet, and the pilot jet is a 15, the stock 15, but keep watching because this is a weird main jet. So the stock main jet that was in here was a 120, and I'm running it in cold weather right now. It's winter, it's snowy outside, it's negative nine right now. So you think colder weather, you'd need to go up in jet sizes, more air, denser air outside, you need more fuel. So I put in, this kit came with like a 130 jet, so I put that in. Still wasn't running right. Was actually acting like it was rich, which was weird. I put a 140 in just for shits, and it ran even worse. And I'm like, screw it, we'll put the smallest jet I have in, which is a 100, and now it runs great and it rips. But the 100 main jet from this kit, if you look at the two holes between the 120 that was in the bike and the 100 that I put in, the 100 looks bigger than the 120. It looks about, I don't know, I, I'm just guessing here, but like maybe a 125 or a 130, maybe 135 somewhere around there, but it definitely is bigger than, or definitely looks bigger than the stock 120, which is weird. So if you wanna have the exact same settings as me, you'd probably have to buy this exact kit. I'll link it down in the description. It was only 15 bucks on Amazon. Yeah, my mods, my camera cut out here, so I don't think it got my mods that I said, but anyway, I drilled holes in the front of the air box here, if you guys can see that. I took out the uh, snorkel on the top of the air box. It looks like it has like three prongs. And then the restrictor on the exhaust is drilled out out there too. So those are the only power mods. Oh, I forgot to say, it's got the FMF pipe on here too, the aftermarket pipe. And then uh, this little baffle back here, I drilled out the little triangular part. Yeah, those are all my mods, power mods. So let's go take it for a rip. One more thing, I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. The oil injection is removed. I'm running 36 to one right now. Let's go for a rip. This bike for me has always started first, if not second kick. So that's been really nice. Let's see. So as you can see, it starts up good. Uh, no choke because it was in a heated garage. Let's let it warm up a bit and then we'll rip it. Okay guys, I hope this video can help you guys out because I've been fighting with jets with this thing. I'm not the best at jetting in the world, so it's a lot of trial and error. I just want like some set it and forget it jet sizes. I've yet to try this in warmer weather. Obviously it's winter right now, so I don't know how it's gonna run in warmer weather. I would assume with the mods that this has, it would still run decently well in warmer weather. Before I did the mods, it was choking out rich. I shouldn't say choking, it was sputtering at the top end, indicating from my knowledge that it's rich. And uh, a lot of people say that with their PW80s, that's what they do when they're stock, is they sputter and they only get to like 5,500 RPM. They need more air to, to be able to rev higher, and then they need more fuel to compensate that. So that is basically what I did, and a lot of trial and error has gone in before I filmed this video. So I really hope these settings help you guys. That's it, love you guys, goodbye.